Hi all, it's Gav here from DancePlanet.tv. Thanks for tuning in as always, guys. We are now only one day away from the PDC 2018 Coup School. There's over 500 players wedged into the tournament to try and win their tour cards. It's gonna be so tough this year. In this video, I'm gonna cover everything that you guys need to know about the PDC Coup School, how it works, what it means to win a tour card, players to look out for, and dates and different things. So there's been over 500 entries. Five. It's going to be so tough for all of them this year. I just want to say a massive thank you also to a guy that I speak to on Twitter a lot. He's called The Maximum. You can check out his Twitter handle here. It's at the Maximum 180. He's provided me with stats and also I've been looking at different things as well to try and get as much information. If there is stuff wrong, guys, I do apologise um, and, and please let me know. So to start off with, let's have a look. It actually starts tomorrow, Thursday the 18th of January, finishing on Sunday the 21st of January. For you UK Coup School is going to be um, held at the Robin Park Leisure Centre in Wigan and the European one is going to be in Heldersheim, Germany. Now if I say any words wrong guys, you know me enough by now, I'm rubbish at pronunciations. Okay, so let's have a look. So what does it, you know, how to win a tour card, let's have a look at what the PDC. So the UK qualifying school will play down to a final of two players each day and it's going to give eight automatic tour cards while the European um, qualifying school are going to play down to a winner each day um, which will give four automatic tour cards. The remaining tour cards are going to be awarded to players based on positions in the qualifying school order of merit on a pro rata basis across the UK and the qualifying schools depending on the final entry numbers. With separate ranking lists to be created for each venue and players are going to be awarded one point per win for the, from the first full round without any buys onwards. Um, if two or more players are tied at the end, they're going to be separated by uh, a ranking list by a count back, and they'll keep going back until basically that they can separate it. It'll probably go down to legs or whatever uh, for the remaining tour cards. So what does it mean to win a tour card and what do they do? So a tour card holder allows them to play in these events for free. They can play in the Grand Slam of Darts PDC Tour Card Qualifier, the PDC World Series of Darts Tour Card Qualifier, but does not include um, like the World Series events like Las Vegas and Australia or New Zealand. They can play in the PDAPA World Championship Qualifier. They can play the 13 European Tour events. They can play the 22 Players Championships events and they can play the six UK Open Qualifiers. Also, they can get a chance to have a Tour Card Upgrade which costs them about 100 quid and that allows them to play in the PDC Pro Tour events. So winning a Tour Card is everything. It is everything to these guys. So let's have a look here. So let's have a look. The UK um, qualifying school, there were so many players, guys, to choose from. Um, and I think there's probably been some added since I've done this video. But I just wanted to go through a few that I think that you guys should look out for and could easily get tour cards this year. So let's start off here. The first one we've got here is Colin Jaws Lloyd. He is back. World Match Play Champion in 2005. World Grand Prix winner 2004. Premier League runner up in 2005. Colin Lloyd is back to try and get his tour card. I think he sounded a really, really great chance. We've got Dean Wynn Stanley. He is, he's in it this year. He was the BDO World Champion um, Championship final in 2011, uh, World Masters final 2011, Grand Slam semi final 2012, English Open winner 2010, and the British Classic winner in 2011. Dean Winston is back to get his card. Great to see Barry Bates, massive fan of Barry Bates. I used to love um, watching him on telly, really, really good. No, he um, suffered with different problems and that, but he's in it. UK Open finals in 2006, what, six, World Cup of Darts finals 2010, and the World Championship court finals in 2009. I'm sorry if I'm speaking quick, guys, but I want to try and wrap this video up in about 10 to 12 minutes, not to bore you all to death. We've also got Colin Osborne, PDC World Championship Quarter Finals in 2007, UK Open Finals in 2009, Championship of Darts winner 2009. Corey Cappy, we've got him. I love Corey Cappy. Everybody you see my videos, you know I'm a massive fan of him. I so want him to get a tour card. He turned down a tour card in 2017 due to lack of experience and what another year at home in Oz. He holds the world record for the Premier League average in the PDC World um, Youth Championship in 2016, three times Victoria Open champion, development tour event winner 2016. 
Wes Newton is back in it. Wes Newton is going for a tour card this year. Um, obviously, a huge decline for Wes Newton. Um, was a, a, in, in the top elite for some time there. PDC World Quarter Finals 2011, 13 and 14. Grand Prix Semi Finals 2012. UK Open Finals 2012 as well. European Championship Finals 2012. PDC European Trophy Dance uh, Champ 2013. Las Vegas Open Champion 2009. We've got James Hubbard in it. He the PDC World Championship Qualifier 2013, World Match Play Qualifier 2012, Free Time Development Tour Winner 2012 twice, um, and in 2014, World Youth Champion 2012. Uh, Andy Jenkins is in it this year, as you can see. He's the PDC World Semi Finals 2007, uh, News the World Semi Finals 97, World Grand Prix Semis 2002, UK Open Semis 2004, England Open Champion 2000, Bob Anderson Classic Winner 2003. We've got Nathan Aspinall in it as well, the PDC World Youth Championship Finals 2015, PDC Challenge Tour Event Winner 2017, PDC Tour Event Winner 2015. We've got Jared Cole in it as well, another one to look out, could easily get a tour card. Um, the JDC UK Tour Winner 2012, JDC European Open Finals 2017, and the Finals Masters Youth Winner 2017. Ted Everts, everybody's speaking about Ted Everts, he's here to get his tour card. Qualified for the PDC Worlds this year in 2018, Grand Slam Qualifier 2016, PC, PDC Development Tour Winner 2017. Alan Tabern, a blast from the past. He's um, trying to get his PDC World Court Finals in 2007, UK, uh, UK Open Semi Finals 2006, PDC Challenge Tour Event Winner 2014, Times 3 and 2017. Uh, Aaron Monk, let's have a look here. His long awaited return is back to the Coup School. PDC World Youth Champion 2011, beating Michael MVG in the final. Um, winner of six development tour events um, and qualified for the Grand Slam of darts in 2012. Now let's have a look at some of the BDO guys that are giving Coo School a go. We've got Jeff Smith in it, uh, BDO World Championship Finals 2016, uh, WDF World Cup Semi-Finals winner 2017, PDC Worlds Qualifier 2000. Um, an 18, winner of two BDO ranking events, 2017. It goes on and on. Tony O'Shea is here. Tony O'Shea is going for his. He was the BDO World Championship Final 2009, 12, 13. He's won a World Masters Final 2014 um, and 2012. Uh, Grand Slam Quarter Finals 2009, 2013. World Cup Singles Winner 2009. World Darts Trophy Final 2002. Northern Ireland Open Winner 2011. Dutch Open Winner 2012. Scottish Open Winner uh, 2009. Turkish Open winner 2009-2017. He's got a free ride. I see him talking on the, the video. He's going to give it a shot. He's, he's got it open. It doesn't matter what you do. If he doesn't get one, he can always go slide back into the BDO. Cameron Menzies, we obviously saw at the Grand Slam of Darts. Very promising player. Uh, he's, he's going to have a go. Scottish Open champion. Qualified for the Grand Slam of Darts 2017. Um, I think I love his personality. He is in it. Daryl Fitton from the BDO. Um, he's going to be giving it a go. BDO World Trophy winner 2017. 2016, Find them Darts Masters winner 2009, Dutch Open winner 2009, and he's given them um, it a go. Jamie Hughes has switched from the BDO, breaking news there as well. Find the Darts Masters winner 2014, Honor Manor Classic winner 2017, and British Classic winner for 2017. Guys, they are the ones in the UK um, PD school that I am giving a really, really good shout to get tour cards. For those, I have missed others, I know, and I'm sorry, and there's probably some late entries coming in that I've missed. But without further ado, oh, my voice, let's quickly get into this one now and go through to the Euro Coup School and who to look out for. We've got Jeffrey Deswan in there, World Youth Cup Masters winner 2012, PDC Development Tour winner 2017, PDC World Championship Qualifier 2016, Grand Slam of Darts Qualifier 2017. Barry Van Peer is going to be giving it a go, obviously struggling with his darts itis. He's a two time Development Tour winner 2015, Grand Slam of Darts last 16 2017, despite struggling with the dart ice. UK Open Qualifier 2016, World Youth Championship 
finest in 2016. Danny Knopper is there. He is going to be giving it a go over from the BDO. He was the BDO World Championships finest in 2017. World Masters Court finest 2013. Grand Slam of Darts Masters uh, 16, 2016. Finest Darts Masters 2017. The Dan Hag Open winner 2016. The Scottish Open winner 2016. The German Open winner 2016. He had nine darts at the Four Nations tournament on his way to winning it in the 2016 as well. Danny Knopper has got to be one of the favourites there to come through and get a tour card. We've got Rusty Jake Rodriguez, who's the Hungry Masters winner 2016, uh, the JDC World uh, Champion 2017, and the PDC Development of Tour winner 2017, obviously brother of Rowdy John and Roxy James. Um, who else we've got? We've got Kevin Munch in there, the German Cup uh, Gold Cup winner 2009-2015, the German Nationals winner um, 2010, PDC World Championship last 32, 2012 and 2018. Putting out Adrian Lewis this year. Um, he plays a bit of soft tip as well. Who else have we got there? We've got Dennis Nielsen. Let's have a look at him. He's the BDO World Championship last 32, 2018. The Finnish Masters winners 2016. The Sweden uh, National winners 2011. Uh, the Lithuanian Open winner 2017. Uh, PDC International Darts Open winner 2017. There's loads there for him as well. Now we've also got Diogo Portela, who I had on my show recently and interviewed. For you guys that didn't see it, check out the video. I want to wish Diogo all the luck in the world. PDC World Championship South and Central America qualifier winner in 2017. Uh, PDC got to the, um, put out the Peter Wright but played really well. First Brazilian to be in the PDC um, World Champs as well. Good luck Diogo. I wish you all the luck in the world. Hope you get your tour card. And last but not least, we've got Christoph Rutachki. Ugh, my voice has gone here. Video World Championship last 16, 2017. PDC World Championship Qualifier 2018, the Winmore World Masters 2017, the European Championship Qualifier 2017, the Poland Nationals winner 2009, the Poland Open winner 2017. That goes on and on and on. Guys, so you can see from all this, um, you know, it's going to be so tough. The quality of the field is immense. Now, I've gone over, I'm nearly inside the 12 minutes what I said. So just so I can wrap this up and try and keep it, I have started a forum over on my website. I'm going to be dropping the link at the top um, in the comments for this. So please do click and get involved over at dartsplanet.tv in the forums. I would love to start chatting to you guys and get you involved in the website. I've got so much to come. Listen guys, if I've missed anything, I do apologise. I'm sorry for speaking really quick, but I wanted to wrap the video up um, without boring you all to death. I hope that has helped and I look forward to catching the next video. Bye!